Dickey, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the Florida Atlantic Owls and the Connecticut Huskies? This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Huskies should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Next, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. And lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. And up. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Fakes the jumper. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Inside, turns it over. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to pack it inside. The frustration right there. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Well, the defender goes down, but there's count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. <laughs> the Owls are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Foul shot, no good. Manning is emotionally pumped up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Sinks the shot. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard gets the pass. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He'll regroup the offense. He tries the three, drains it. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. The point guard takes the pass. Great anticipation defensively. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. 
Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. The ball goes out play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He fakes the shot. He lets it go. Nice shot. Bed the low block. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Up and inside. The center takes the feed. Almost lost the basketball. The small forward gets the ball. Gave it up. Number 34 with the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Picked off. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The small forward with the ball. He shoots from the angle. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. They move it into the front court. He comes away with it. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up, looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Defense giving some room. On the top of the circle, drops it in from long range. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from left of the circle. And he'll kick it back outside. He fires from long range. Sinks it. Play that back for me one time. Looking to move it around the perimeter. That should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. Trying to draw some contact. But plays like that, you need instant replay. Trying to draw the foul. Easy one. Let's go to the videotape for that one. Defensively down the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Gave it up.
Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nice fake. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. They'll work it around the arc. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got a high post flasher. Wall picks up the defensive foul. First personal foul. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. The UConn student section, also known unofficially as the Huskies faithful. They had a lot of success over the years. Hey, the coach does a great job here. He's got an eye for potential and talent. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Too physical. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. There's the fake. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. It's good. Control in the ball. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He hits the hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Moving it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. Way off target. Up and in. Up and inside. Stop and pop. He drains it. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He looks for three. Florida Atlantic have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribble. They work the perimeter. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. 
The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Makes the second. Nice high post screen. He attempts the three. He'll kick it back outside. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. On the outside, on the outside. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Florida Atlantic are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're to keep pushing and see if they can force a timeout. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he scores despite the hack. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He looks at the hoop. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Fakes it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Transition opportunity coming up. Leans in. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. And the ball goes out of play. The Huskies are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. He launches a three. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He used the screen perfectly to put in the inside hoop.
Gave it up. Looking for contact. The lay-in. With the fake. And he'll kick it back outside from the top of the key. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Keep your eye right on the ball here. Right now, got to focus defensively. From three-point range, there was no doubt about that one. Now they work it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. And again, they look to run. On the dribble, gives it up with a bucket. And he missed. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Strips the ball loose. For two. Great shot. Up and inside. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Double team waiting there. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Vic. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. There's a high screen. Goes up for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Jumped in front to take it away. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Jumps into the defender, gets it to fall. Takes away the pass. Whistle blown. That's a backcourt infraction. You can't make those kind of mistakes in games like these, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. From way downtown, way off target. At halftime, the Huskies are ahead by five. 
This one's too close to call here at the end of the first. Dick, do you have a highlight of the half? There was some nice inside play in the first half. We'll have to see which team continues to pound the ball inside in the second half. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Connecticut is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. The UConn student section, also known unofficially as the Huskies faithful, they had a lot of success over the years. Hey, the coach does a great job here. He's got an eye for potential and talent. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing off is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Steal. The ball goes out of bounds. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Oh, what a high rise of great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. It's stolen. Here they go into transition for the deuce. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. it around the arc jumps in and he scores it off the glass he lets it go yes Slowly performance, he's just gotten in his head. Well, he knows he's not getting it done, and emotionally, it's bringing him down. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression, he says, me? He'll visit the charity strike. Hits the first shot. Got a move. Picked off. Barber receives the pass. Up, easy one. Red. Hard foul. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions in specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchups? Sir? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. the shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He unloads a three. He drains the bucket. On the outside. Tries for two. 
great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as Melvin, fading away, impossible to block. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. For the bucket, drains the shot. There's the trap. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Pushing that basketball. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Here's a double team. to the circle. He missed. For the bucket. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Jumped in front to take it away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There they come with a double team to stop it. Definitely a foul. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals a pass. The point guard handles the feed. Two with a lay-in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Hostel handles the pass. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He fires from long range. Rims out. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Takes it off him on the run for two. Perfectly executed. The Huskies are ahead by 16. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Cross court. Intercepted. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. He intercepts it on the outside. Got a man in high post. Good fake. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. Gets it back out. Great effort defense. 
defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Gave it up. He's got an open look for the shot. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Picks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the deuce, they still don't score. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from outside, way off target. Scores it, and he's fouled. So, and one opportunity here. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twinning, though. He goes to the line. Got it! The UConn student section, also known unofficially as the Huskies faithful. They had a lot of success over the years. Hey, the coach does a great job here. He's got an eye for potential and talent. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drains it. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He strokes it. Florida Atlantic have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Intercepted. Tries for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Look at that spacing. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen ball. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Got the high pick. He looks for three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. 
Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Joseph receives the ball. There's the trap. Great defense. For the bucket, Florida Atlantic are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Working it around the perimeter. Shot rejected. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Here they come now on a turnover. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. He dials long distance. Rims out. For the bucket. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. He attempts the trifecta. He gets the bucket. This one might go down to the final buzzer. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Gave it up. On the outside. He attempts the three. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Dribble gives it up, and he tries to spin away from the defender. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Joseph goes to the line for the first time. It's good. For two, he can't get the bucket to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. The shooting guard. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. On the outside. In the paint. For the deuce. They work it back to the outside. He shoots from right of the circle. Drains it.
intercepts it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses from three-point land. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. High post screen, gonna use it. Foul charge. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. him in the paint but went elsewhere he shoots from the top of the key the Huskies have got to continue to get him the ball that is on fire jumped in front to take it away he fouled him there's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Takes it off him. Here we go on the break. Tries for two. Easy one. in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Kicks it out. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots at the Connecticut are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. For the bucket, he is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Look at that spacing. Now they work it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work it around the perimeter on the outside. The fake. Double team now, bad angle. On the outside, got a wide open look. Shot clock goes off. Yeah, Brad, the defense had him locked down that time. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. 
Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Looking for a good shot. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Connecticut is now in the bonus. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Hits his second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. And the ball goes out of play. There's the turnover situation for the half, Dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you got to win it keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball, they made sure they converted on the free throw line, they did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Huskies graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.